says this is a little bit crazy right I just watched a little thing on some of the insanity of sidecars you know just the basic little bit of history you know how they're built what powers them a little bit about the tires the riders they call the passengers or the monkeys at least they did in the UK or for the clip I saw when they were racing at Isle of Man but anyway just the athleticism of the guy riding and the guy driving too but that guy riding out there wide open like that jumping around leaning tucking and leaning Whew, crazy anyway I know just a little bit let's find out some more this is the Bathurst 1984 sidecar Grand Prix Mount Panorama you know I gotta see this Six lap journey. Big's made a great start. Trouble in the back of the field. And she was ready. to third. A much better start, however, than the start of the Australian Sidecar Grand Prix of 83. Oh, I never see that too. And off to the top of the mountain for the first time. This year, we're minus one of the real stars, Jeff Taylor, who's hung up his helmet. He and his passenger, Barry Fraser. Are now interested onlookers yeah, as we watch now the contenders for 84. Shivers and Halliday, Collins and Nunso. Bosman's come up to third. That's a good performance. Bosman was a little further up than that. He led the field as they came over the mountain straight, but was then swamped by the two leading riders. Biggs and Calvert on 17. It just occurred to me. I thought I had read or saw in that little clip I watched previously that they started at 10 second intervals is maybe that's just an Isle of Man TT thing because they just all took off here. Wow. I'm curious to see at Conrad Strait if um, that's where a lot of passing gets done because where are they going to pass here? There's the crash at the bottom of the circuit. That's Darrell White. His passenger Alan Jameson. Yeah, they look like they're burning. Yeah. They involve an ambulance coming onto the circuit as we go back to the leaders. Doug Shivers and Margaret Halliday across the top. Halliday trying to become the first woman ever to win an Australian Grand Prix. And looking not only to win the race, but to eclipse the lap record held by Jeffrey Taylor. There's a woman in the race. Congrats. Well done, ma'am. Uh, is she driving or riding? Let me know, please. That record, incidentally, stands at 2.7.43. I would say wingman. Here we go. Oh yeah. And at the moment, Shivers and Halliday well placed to win the race. Although you'd have to say the lack of competition could put the lap record at a bit of risk. Smoke the tires as they come past the accident on pit straight. Twice the New Zealand champions, Doug Chivas and Margaret Halliday. Tell you right now, I love sidecar racing. This is outstanding, man. This is thrillful. The folks that got hurt, man, they got an ambulance coming for them, but it's, I'm astounded that the race goes on. I mean, it's a ballsy move. Let's go. Get them off the track and go. Just don't put nobody in harm's way, right? The crashed machine. Not too much damage, in fact, to the machine. And the ambulance coming out, as you suggested. Wow, Back to the leaders as we watch Shivers and Halliday work across the top of the mountain. Wow. Perfect coordination. And consider the task of Margaret Halliday as she clings to the sidecar across Skyline. Awful close to that tire. Ooh, you've got to watch your hands. frame. And your clothing. Yamaha TZ750 engine. It really is so difficult to describe just how hard it is as a sidecar passenger. So yesterday we spoke to oh, Kristen Uso, Bruce Collins' passenger, about some of the moments experienced. She's tucked In fact, yesterday nice. I got the closest I've ever got falling out, coming over the last hump before Rothman. Um, Bruce changed gears, I think, and I shifted before I should have, and both hands came off the, the handles and we were doing 230, 240 k's. Collins and Danuzzo in second position, following very much in the uh, the footsteps 
of Jeff Taylor and Barry Fraser yeah, having come street, from motocross before they made the move up to sidecar racing. When they came on the scene last year, they were without doubt the best turned out sidecar team in the business. Now the leathers are starting to just look a little bit warm and the bike also is starting to show the signs of wear. Just a little unusual this combination because the majority of sidecar races seem to come out of other forms of the sport, solo racing, motocross and so on as John suggested. These two guys, 27 and 25 respectively. The youngsters carving a career. It's a little unusual this combination because the majority of sidecar races seem to come out of other forms of the sport, solo racing, motocross and so on as John suggested. These two guys, 27 and 25 respectively. The youngsters carving a career in sidecar racing and doing a very good job indeed. It looks smooth. Out of the cutting, on the power, careful not to over rev on the hump. As they build up in speed, what does it feel like to be six inches off the ground at 200 kilometres per hour approaching the skyline? That's the question we ask number four for his comments. The skyline is incredible. You just come so far through McDonnelly Park and approach skyline and all you can see is the driving just straight over the edge of the mountain. <laughs> Quite a number of people looking to enter sidecar racing this year, amongst them Dennis Neal, the former solo rider, and also the former Australian Grand Prix champion from cars, Spencer Martin, is showing a very great interest in sidecar racing and looking to perhaps bring out one of the mid engine sidecars from the European circuit. As we look at bike 62, Victor Plummer with his passenger Russell Brown parked by the side of the track, and the position in which they're parked would indicate nice that they were all control over the top of the circuit and ended in the uh, sand drive. 47 is Vincent Genova from Melbourne and Mark O'Brien, his passenger. Bosman, the next man through on 27. Behind him, Graham Biggs on 17. Bosman holds the four-stroke lap record the in sidecar here. The with the the time is 239.35. Graham Biggs also coming up into contention there. Biggs was one of the riders involved in the incident on the starting line in 1983. He's off to Europe a little bit later in the season to watch the Grand Prix action over there, pick up some technical and rider hints. Somebody's got to lose the trouble. Yep. Vince Genova, former motocross rider, motorcycle dealer from Melbourne. That view from the helicopter just never gets old, man. That is so cool. He's immaculately turned out machine. Very good combination, this. Always lurking in minor positions, thirds and fourths. Ever reliable, and they really do a great job of getting this machine to the circuit in the absolute tip top of condition. One of the first machines, in fact, to go to the 700cc Yamaha TZ engine instead of the TZ 750cc engine, which Doug Shivers, as we see here, is still using. The 700cc engine gives more power out of the corners, whereas the 750 has more top end. And frankly, a Bathurst top end is what you need, and that's exactly what Doug Shivers is using to good advantage. He powers down through the S's out of Forest Elbow, and the news just handed to us that Shivers and Halliday have broken the lap record. It's now standing at 226.52, almost a second quicker than Jeffrey Taylor's time. Wow. What a marvellous performance from the former New Zealand champions as they come down from Ross Strait now for the last time. One corner remaining for Margaret Halliday to become the first woman ever to win an Australian Grand Prix. Wait for the chequered flag. And there it is. Doug Shivers and Margaret Halliday win the Australian Grand Prix. Over six laps of Bathurst. In second place will be Bruce Collins and Krista Nutzo there. Here he comes. Big Gavin Porteous. Did you guys see that at the end? Feature. What was it? Marvellous performance from the former New Zealand champions as they come down. I think that right lap time we have. Time. One quarter remaining for Margaret Halliday to become the first woman ever to win an Australian Grand Prix. Wait for the chequered flag. And there it is. Doug Shivers and Margaret Halliday yeah, win the Australian right. Grand Prix. Over six laps of balance. In second place will be Bruce Collins guys. and Krista Nutzo there. Here he comes, big Gavin Porteous. With his sidecar passenger, Jeff Spencer.
that's intense, man. That was interesting. 1984, and it sounds like I, I could go back a little further. I was just cruising down through there looking for some sidecar stuff for Bathurst because I'd saw it in the comments, and I thought that might be a good one based on the thumbnail, and it was. That was great. That was fun and thrilling. That was nuts, man. That far off the ground. Uh, congratulations to the girl uh, in that cart, and they won uh, for the first time ever. That's pretty cool. There's some history for you, so I picked a good one. If you guys got some other ones in the comments, I'll look them up. Man, that was great. I want to see some more uh, action, man. They kind of ran out and took that over and were gone. Um, just kind of like the bike race, too. I need to see a little bit more tighter finishes, maybe. I'll look in the comments, see what y'all got for me. I'm Jeff, occasional outlaw. Thank you. Everybody have a good evening, day, morning, wherever you're at. Have a good one.